welcome to our rich and beautiful plant of today and this is beetroot. You have many colors, it's fantastic for children in a form that you can manage and you can have pink ones, orange ones. Today I brought you the dark red one like you probably know it. It's so nice to play with it. You can cut very thin slices and then combine it with other colors. And of course, in our video of my monthly membership, we will do a lot of recipes. I just want you to see the plant. It contains quite a lot of copper, which is very important for the brain and for a couple of neurotransmitters. Also, folic, folate is very high. Nitrate, which helps lowering the blood sugar and the blood, <laughs> the blood pressure. And uh, sugar-wise, it is when you have the dried beetroot, because you can also buy beetroot powder, which is interesting to use for children. Dried beetroot powder is relatively sweet. It is sweeter than if you have carrot powder. Everyone would think the carrot is sweeter, but it isn't. In the same time, this plant has a bit of an earthy flavor, you know. So if you prepare it, for example, if you do a raw food with it, um, you, can, you can take mandolins with it and then cut it in smaller portions. I would always combine it at least with something a little bit sweet, like this beautiful organic apple you have here. By the way, an interesting type of apple that has a very unique taste. You could add carrot here again. So the three, just put them in a mixer and then add some acid like lemon juice. It can also be um, a sauce, for example, with raspberry. Interesting, because the raspberry has a little bit of acid too. Or you mix raspberry, yogurt, and then, of course, uh, some spices, what you can as well do. And this I recommend highly for the immune system. And that is horseradish. And if you don't have fresh horseradish, because you don't want to take the one with sulfur, um, you can also buy a horseradish powder, which is fantastic and easy to use in sauces and in soups. In the evening, a soup with beetroot, with some spring onions, with some spices and maybe some almond milk, oat milk, or you have a very good quality cream um, that you can add as well. It's very soothing to the body and don't forget, if it's organic quality, you can also eat the leaves in the salad, put them in your smoothie, put them in your wok, stir fry. We will do French fries with very low fat. This plant has almost no fat, so why should we torture it and spoil the benefit with, with dumping it in too much oil? which, by the way, is also the case with some of the chips, of the vegetable chips you can get. But you can do them with very little oil. And there's also a brand that does chips of the beetroot without any fat. Then they have to be dried for a very long time at a low temperature. This is also a cool product and you can try it in your house, but that takes a little bit more time. So. Let's go to another idea with beetroot. It's beetroot spaghetti. You know that I love to take all kinds of roots, be it radish, be it sweet potato, be it white radish or beetroot, and put them in a machine so that you can do spaghetti with it. But this is a bit messy, so I have to change. <laughs> Thank you. See you in the next video to to see what the beetroot spaghetti look like.